Hi, this is Passy's World of ICT, continuing with our series of tutorials on how to build a website with Dreamweaver CS3. In this lesson, we're going to look at how we can make these rollover buttons for the website. Okay, what happens there is when the mouse goes over the button, it goes to a darker color. What's really happening here is that we have two buttons. One is the original lighter colored button, which loads up with the page and then it swaps out into a darker colored image which is actually a separate button we made. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six buttons. We'll need to make six light green ones and six dark green ones. So let's go across to Adobe Fireworks and get started with doing that. Alright, we need to open and what we've done here is we've got in our Robbie's Outdoors website folder we already have set up a separate folder called buttons in Dreamweaver and inside that button we have a blank green button okay so we'll just open that now we obtained this image from the web but of course if we were building this for a real customer we would have to make the image ourselves but since this is nonprofit education work we're doing here uh, it's not seen as a breach of copyright to use this image from the net all right, we now go on to the text tool in Fireworks and we're going to select Comic Sans font from the font selection. All right, so we got that there. We're going to go 17 for our size and the color we're going to use is white. All right, so we position our text box here and we'll do our first button, which is the home button. And we'll make sure we spell it correctly. Alright, we can go on to the black arrow select tool now and move that into position. Now down here it shows the X and Y coordinates and we've already figured out previously that we need to have those at 35 and 5. We need to now make sure that every time we make a button we don't slip uh, in our editing and that these are all at the same position then our buttons will line up nicely down the page. Alright, so that's the home button done, so we're going to do file save as, we'll save it as a fireworks PNG, and what we'll do is we will find our folder for Robbie's Garden Services, Robbie's Outdoor Assignment, Robbie's Outdoors Buttons is where we want to put it. Now this is the out button, this is what loads up originally before the mouse goes over it, and it's the home one, so we'll name this home out we're using fireworks PNG and we'll save that button into our folder now you can see here in the layers your fireworks might be on pages originally if you switch over to layers we can see that we have the background and we have the home button alright what we need to do now is make our remaining buttons or what we could do now is make the rollover button we might actually make the rollover button what we need to do is in layers make sure we're clicked on that green background and then in fireworks we go to filters and we want to adjust the color and we want to use hue saturation to do that hue and saturation okay so we click on there we'll just have to push down on the mouse and move that out the way and let go of the mouse now what we want to do is we want to change the hue of that to a kind of a uh, darker green you can slide up here and have purple you could slide along and have different colors. Now if you make the colors uh, significantly different from each other what happens is it doesn't look so good on the rollover okay so we're just gonna drop that down with the lightness to make it darker and we've picked a different shade of green maybe we'll go even a slightly bit darker with that and we'll say okay on that alright now when we save this one file save as this one here is going to be the home button when the mouse goes over it so we have to call this home over that's kind of a standard uh, web design naming convention and then we save that alright now <coughs> that's that one done okay so let's close it down we'll open our blank button out our original one here it's in the recent items and there we are we'll use the magnifying glass and draw a square around that so we can make it nice and big onto our lettering tool uh, which is still a comic sans 17 and white and now in here we need to do our next button which is services okay so we'll go services 
Uh, again, we'll now go on the black arrow selector tool, make sure in the layers that we're on services, and then we can just grab that and move it carefully. Now I'm going to use the arrow keys to move it, and I'm keeping an eye out down here in the X and Y coordinates. Now the easiest way is, because remember we were putting them all at 35 for X and 5 for Y, so we'll just type those in. That should position it perfectly so it's going to line up with the home button on the page. So again, file save as. We want a fireworks PNG for the type. And this one here is the out button for when the mouse is outside of that area. And that is the services button. So we're going to type services in there. Services out PNG and we can save that into our buttons folder. Fireworks remembers where we were and what we were doing. Okay, now we'll click on this area here to make sure we've got the background highlighted and if we go to filters, the nice thing here is Fireworks remembers what we did last time and we'll just repeat hue saturation and it remembers the settings, brings them up for us, we can check out how our button looks and we say OK. Now we need to do File Save As and this one is going to be the services when the mouse is over it, when the mouse is moved over the button, that's when it goes to dark color, so service is over. A fireworks PNG is what we need, and we'll go save. All right, so we've got, um, if we have a look in Robbie's Outdoors, here in our website, in buttons, we now have the home and the services done. Now what we're going to do is, we will now go off and make the other buttons we need, prices, booking, associates, and contact and then they'll all be in our buttons folder ready to use for when we update our template alright these are all going to go on the template for our website alright so make sure you tune in to see the further episodes in this tutorial where we will take these buttons we will put them on the template and then in another tutorial after that we will build the Robbie's Gardening Services homepage Alright, thank you for watching, and remember you can find lots of free tutorials at our website, Passy's World of ICT.